Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2 Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Legendary Run Speed Farm. So, we are here on the Lynchwood today and uh, we finished the last episode taking on Dukino's mom uh, for her legendary Mongol rocket launcher. She was just down there. So we're going to be heading back in that direction today to clear up um, the farms in Lynchwood. There's two bosses in total that uh, drop legendary weapons. Uh, so we're going to be going after the second one today. Uh, yeah, there is where we went for Dukina's mom, so uh, you can actually do uh, the second guy and the first uh, farm all in one run if you want to, uh, but obviously I'm doing it episode by episode. So once you get past Dukino's mom's area, um, you're going to head for this lift up here, and uh, it takes a bit of time, but uh, just chill out and uh, enjoy the view while you're waiting for it to go up. But uh, yeah, once you get to the top, uh, you could just simply run up here and uh, just follow the route there's a load of rats in this area so uh, be careful we all know rats can jump in front of you and annoy you and uh, just be general pests like rats are but uh, once you head uh, to this little area here turn right and head across this uh, say bridge kind of thing and uh, once you get to the end of it turn right and as you can see there's some stairs right there well keep an eye on there because our boss of today called mad dog is um here and we're going to be farming him so uh, let's take him down and see if we can get a first time legendary drop ah damn it uh no and uh yeah we're going to quit out and come back in so uh, that was mad dog he's a little minor rat kind of thing bit of a uh bit of a well he's a bit of a wimp really i'll be honest he uh, doesn't really take much to kill at all even on the uh high overpower levels so he's not really uh well, let's put it this way, he's no Dukino's mum, she's, she's an absolute tank. Um, so this farm should be able to be cleared up very quickly. And uh, yeah, there we go. So we're just going to go ahead and farm them over and over and over again. So uh, yeah, Mad Dog drops the legendary assault rifle, uh, which is called the Madhouse. Um, and we're going to be going after that today. Now, there's no real way of speeding this up much apart from, uh, you know, there's no speed farms or anything like that. Uh, apart from maybe just uh, taking like a little shortcut like I'm about to attempt now. Now, I've never attempted this before, but uh, I'm going to give it a go now. So we're going to drop some grenades just down in this area here and just see if we can. Yes, we can. So that makes it a little bit quicker. So if you can do that with your rocket jumping gun Zerka, that will speed things up uh, a little bit. Uh, apart from that, I'd recommend just the usual um, movement speed increases um, on any character, getting something that will uh, make you go a bit quicker. Um, but apart from that, that's about it really. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Now, I um, haven't been on this uh, for a few days now, actually. I'll explain that in a second. Um, well, yes, but before I do, I just want to say, if my voice sounds absolutely dire at the minute, I do apologise. Um, I have literally just woken up, um, and I'm back on night shifts now uh, for a couple of days. So, uh, limited filming time, which uh, I'm a bit ups yeah, upset about. I'm not upset about it, but I'm a bit... Uh, aware of because I got so much done in the first two days while I was off of the uh, of the new legendary drop rate increases I actually um, wanted to get the rest cleared up in week three just in case the change week four into really bad drop rates like week two was so uh, yeah I really 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 want to uh, get this cleared up um, and all I've got is about an hour and a half in between waking up and uh, picking the missus up from work to get ready to go back to nights um, and I wanted to average about three a day. By the way, there is a chest uh, here if you want to open that. It's a really, really rubbish chest, so uh, you're never going to get anything really decent in there. Saying that, there's a blooming purple, but legendary-wise, you're never really going to get anything really decent in there. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I want to try and get as many done as possible before the uh, next drop rate increase or decrease, um, week four, comes along. So, um, at the minute, I'm not doing too bad. I'm in Lynchwood, so uh, we've got, you know... One here, we've got one in Sawtooth Cauldron to farm, uh, one in Iridium Blight, um, um, Arid Badlands, Arid um, Boneyard, do you know what I mean? So there's, there's still quite a few to clear up. As, then there's the uh, the DLC, um, all the DLC guys and stuff, things like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to get it all done by the end of week three, but I want to try and get as many as I can, especially just in this vanilla, uh, these vanilla maps. So... Uh, want to try and get as many done because if not it might take me uh, a while plus week four i did want to go to uh, the pre-sequel maybe and do all these you know it's not just borderlands 2 that i uh that i'm planning on doing this on but uh, uh yeah 
bit of pressure really, not really pressure, I don't have to do it, but I'd like to clear as many of these up as possible really. So uh, yeah, let's go for it then. Wow, we didn't go down first time. You uh, tanked that shot a little bit too well. So uh, yeah, there is another run over and done with. Now it's time for me to put my uh, prediction in. Uh, I'm going to say we are on run number five. I'm going to say nine runs for this guy and we'll see if we can uh, can get it. So uh, yeah, like I said, if I uh, do sound a bit croaky, it's literally just because I've woken up. Uh, I'll probably sound like it for the rest of the episode, and I do apologise. I don't normally um, record straight away when I first wake up, especially after uh, finishing work. I normally like to give myself half an hour or so at least before uh, actually even attempting to do any recording. But uh, I wanted to get straight into it. I want to get this uh, done today. I want to get King Mong and uh, maybe Mortar as well in Sorty of Cauldron. That is if Mad Dog is good to us though and gives us a good drop rate. Uh, okay, as you can see as well, I'm not taking that little shortcut that I uh, actually showed. Um, just because, I, you know, I just want to save some grenades really. And uh, it's quick enough just running around this way here. So, uh, yes, come on, my dog, hurry up. Drop me your madhouse, my friend. So, uh, yeah, I've predicted nine runs. Um, we are still, as I've said already, in week three of the legendary drop rate. So, for the last... Well, the drop rates are exactly the same as the last, well, God, maybe 15 episodes you've watched up to now. I've got so many episodes recorded in the uh, first two days. It was unreal, and uh, I'm glad I did it, really, because these drop rates in week three seem to be really, really good to us. And uh, we're kind of bringing back the old 10, 10 runs or under streak uh, for most of them, so uh, that's pretty good going. Come on, up we go. Uh, let's take that guy down, why not? He's just uh, a bit of a beast, really. Okay, so let's uh, carry on. What are we on? Run number six now. Any time now, we should uh, be in with a good chance of getting what we are after. Oh, satellite dish in the way. Can I get up there? I oh, can. Yeah, that'll save time a little bit. Right, Mr. Mad Dog. Come on down. Here he comes. Bush. Oh, it's still a bit of guns there. There we go. We've got orange. We've got orange. Thank you very much, sir. There we go. Right, let's pick this up quickly. Actually, no, we'll just kill all these rats first. Um, wow, there's a lot of them. Uh, do I want to kill them all? Yeah, let's kill them all. Right, guys, just go away, please, while I'm uh, while I'm just doing this. I want to make this very quick. Go away. There we go. Rats are annoying. They spawn in waves and waves and waves. So here we go anyway. This is the legendary Madhouse Assault Rifle that we have been after. It is a bandit assault rifle. Uh, we've got the accurate Madhouse. So the damage is uh, 87,500 actually at level 70. That is quite good damage for a, uh, for a assault rifle at that level. Accuracy is not bad. Nearly hitting the 90s. Fire rate is pretty good as you can see. Reload speed is, uh, well... I think that's not a bad reload speed either for an assault rifle and such a huge mag size 118 in the mag so red tech says it's a madhouse a madhouse and uh, this one's got 2.4 time weapon zoom so we're going to pick that up now and uh, just have a little go with it and uh, oh well, let's do a little overview just uh, so you can see exactly what it looks like as well there you go it's a pretty much actually it's pretty much the same uh, um skin on it as the bada boom if you look at it not much difference there at all yes very very similar probably because they're both bandit weapons but uh, yeah there you go that is the madhouse then nice little look at it and uh, yeah we'll go do some killing now very quickly so we're uh, quite happy with that once again i was wrong with my guesses i said nine we got it in six so uh, let's take a few rats uh, on while we uh, go down to back to the uh, fast travel actually and head to our next area so we'll do a bit of killing now and then I'll tell you where we are going next so you guys can get your uh, guesses in oh we've got a mutated lab rat these guys are pretty tanky let's uh, get some there so as you can see it's uh, pretty powerful really even against that guy it took his shield off pretty well but uh, it's nowhere near uh, as good as you actually want it to be but uh, I could probably do with having a B on right now and making this a lot more powerful than it actually is uh, another mutated lab rat get him slagged as you can see even better see uh, I should really be slagging seeing as though it's, uh, it's his ultimate vault hunter mode really but uh, pretty fast fire rate as you can see now the reload speed may be quite a lot but as you can see with uh, it's almost like an LMG from, uh, some, from certain games like Call of Duty and that which uh, take a long time to reload another mutated lab rat can we just have a normal rat? 
Can we just have a normal wrap, please? There we go. He'll do. Let's get some. This guy's just stuck. Can't seem to get any shots on him at all either. Well, we'll just sit there. Yeah, it's not the best weapon in the world, as you can see, but uh, it's not the greatest of accuracy either. But they'll go down eventually, and like I said, get some slag on them, and it'll help ever so much. Never really used the Madhouse very much, though, so uh, not its biggest fan in the world. So, uh, yeah, for those of you guys that said six runs in the guesses, congratulations. Um, well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. And, uh, yeah, you should have your name featured in the comments if anyone did guess correctly. So, let's head out of this area and head for our next area. The next area we'll be going to is uh, King Mong, and uh, we'll be farming for uh, these nice little guys right here, the Bada Booms. Um, got a nice little quicker speed farm for him, really, uh, even though he's another boss that doesn't really appear, no, not guaranteed to appear every time. Um, or if he is, he's got two areas where he spawns as well, but we're just going to be uh, speeding that up with one area farm. But uh, yeah, get your guesses in now for King Mong in Iridium Blight. We will be going after him next and uh, getting ourselves a bada boom. So get your guesses down now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.